Dinners and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. So, for the ones who don't know me, my name is Andrea and I live in the Czech Republic and I'm an expat here and I do videos about my life here and I do a lot of taste tests and as you can see, today is gonna be a taste test. I'm gonna be trying Czech beers, the biggest breweries, the most common beers and I'm just gonna say which one is my favorite. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the beers in general. I have to say already that my favorite is the Budweiser, but now that I'm gonna try them all back to back, we will see if it's my real favorite. I've liked beer all my life. I started by drinking a thing called Malta. In my country, Malta is pretty much a dark beer with no alcohol content. So it's pretty much like a training for beer. So I am a beer person, I love beer. I Every time I go out, I have beer and I just thought this might be interesting for everybody. So that's it, let's start with the video. So the first one we are gonna be trying is Cozel. Cozel, the original one. This beer cost me 22 Czech crowns. It has 4% alcohol. This uh, specific Cozel was created in 1874 and is a pale draft beer. They call it draft because even if it's not draft, they're, they're trying to make sure that the taste is draft. And as well, Cozel just means like male goat and that's what the name signifies. So that's it, let's crack it open. I shouldn't put that much because I have to try many. I can tell you already, the foam is great. The smell is great, it's very rich, and I mean, I can smell it already from here. Oh, it smells very good. Okay, let's give this a try. I definitely like it. There's no aftertaste to it. It's almost like no bitter at all. And that's something I appreciate on a beer because it has a lot of body. It has a very good flavor. The foam was very good. Great amount of um, like gas and definitely not over overpowering in the bitter side. I honestly don't like bitter beers. There's nothing to say here, it's a great beer. To clean my palate, I'm gonna be drinking a bit of water on the side because they say that's the only thing you should drink in between beers because anything else can like damage the flavor. We're gonna go with Cozel number two. This is Cozel 11 was 22 Czech crowns, 4.6% alcohol. It was created in 2005 and is a pale lager or pilsner. Let's see how we like this one. I see more or less the same amount of foam as in the previous one and the color is a bit darker than the previous one. Let's try it out and see. I mean, it's delicious. Um, I find this one a little bit more bitter than the original Cozel. I like it, but I think I would prefer the original one better than this one. And anyway, it's a very, very good beer, don't get me wrong. I could drink this any day, but it's a bit more bitter. And as I said at the beginning, I'm more, like my perfect beer is a Paulaner, and it literally tastes like bread. So there you can see, but that's a wheat beer. It's a different type of beer. But anyway, like that's where I'm coming from. So yeah, definitely a good beer, but I like the original a bit more. For the third one, we have here the Pilsner Ul Urkel. Pilsner Ul Urkel. So hard that name for me. Pilsner Urkel is uh, the most typical beer, I would say. This specific beer was 30 Czech crowns. Also, I bought it in the Chinese store. I mean, the, the Potravina in front of my house. So that might make it a bit more expensive than the one you can buy in the supermarket. So this one is 4.4% alcohol. It's a pale lager or literally the original Pilsner beer, literally. It was created in 1842 and it's pretty much the first pale lager or Pilsner. That's why we call Pilsner to the other types of beer. And pretty much this is the original lager, the original. So let's go for it. I'm excited. I know how it tastes. I love it. And it's not my favorite, but it's almost my favorite. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, the smell. Smells like bread. It's very, very good smell. Smells as well. I, I understand that draft beer is better than any canned beer and Pilsner. This is specific one, you can find it on draft pretty much everywhere, but for the purposes of this video, I'm doing it on can. If you can buy a keg or you can get a draft, is of, of course much better than by the can, but you know, this is easier to do it. So let's see. Oh God. Uh, wow. Okay. Wow. It is the best one. Zero bitterness a lot of body almost creamy on how much body it has and the flavor it tastes literally like like liquid bread is very very good in flavor oh it's perfect it's perfect it's amazing i love it i think probably i mean i don't want to say it's gonna be my favorite because i still think the budweiser is gonna be my favorite but wow this is like a very 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 cool very good beer now we are moving to this one, Staropramen Smichov. I have never tried this one, but I have to be honest, I see it quite often in the store and I never bought it before, so I decided to just buy it and give it a try, so we'll see. Seems a little bit more pale in color. So this beer, this beer has 4% of alcohol. It's a pale draft beer. When, when they call it draft beer, it means that the way they put it in the can or in the bottle, they do it in a way that it tastes almost like if it was draft. It, they have been producing it since 1869, and Estado pra, Pramen means literally old spring, a spring of water, like an old spring. So let's give this a try. It's good. The thing is, like, Czech beers are always good. This beer was 18 Czech crowns. Um, it's very good. The flavor is more mild and a bit more bitter, but still less bitter than the Cozel, but more bitter than the Pilsner Urkel. The smell doesn't, I mean, it's not as ideal as the previous ones. It's not bad, it's delicious. What I mean is like, if I had to compare, I guess this one is a little bit more soft in color. It's like a more light yellow. The smell is good, but it doesn't smell that strong as the other one. I'm literally standing up every time because I have them in the fridge because I love my beer. Very cold. Because in Venezuela we don't drink the beer. Eh, we drink it like freezing cold. Mm. So our next beer is what I think is my favorite that is the Budweiser. Yes, you hear me right, like the American Budweiser. This Budweiser was 22 Czech crowns for very important, all of them are half a liter, if you haven't noticed that they're, they're gigantic. Um, you cannot really find smaller beers here, I think that's like the size, that's it. This Budweiser has 5% alcohol, it's a pale lager or Pilsner style beer, it's in the market since 1895 and its name comes from the place that is brewed, that is Czeske Budjovice, I've been there. I'm terrible in pronouncing Czech names, but Czeske Budjovice is pronounced by Germans in the past. It was pronounced as Budweiser. It was the way they pronounced it. So apparently the Budweiser was made a beer in the US 20 years before it was made here in the Czech Republic. The thing is that here in the Czech Republic, they were making the same beer for 700 years, even before registering the brand. And that's why there's still a war nowadays in between the American Budweiser and the Czech Budweiser. In my opinion, I love both. <laughs> so that's my conclusion. Uh, American one is just lighter in flavor. So let's see. Nice foam, nice color. This one had more foam. Oh, the smell is very good because it smells much more like yeast than the previous ones. And I think that's one of the things that I like the most about this beer. Mm. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's so good. I mean, it's not just not bitter, it's sweet. Like literally is. It's, it's not sweet like it has added sugar, it's sweet like 
there's certain fermentation going on here that makes these beers sweeter than the others. It's definitely a little bit bitter. I never realized that before until trying all the beers together. I think the Pilsner Urkel is the less bitter, but this one doesn't have a level of bitterness that will like anger me because it's so sweet in general, the flavor, that I like that bit of bitterness. Now we are gonna try Branik. Branik is pretty much the cheapest one. <laughs> Literally the cheapest one. This half a liter beer of 4.1% um, cost me 16 Czech crowns. Extremely inexpensive. I've never tried this one, not because I'm posh, but because beer in general is cheap, so I don't have the need to go even cheaper. But I always see it, so I wanted to give it a try. This is a pale lager, and it has been in the market since the 1900s and this brewery is a little bit smaller than the other ones that I've been trying but the most important thing is that that is the most inexpensive beer and the name Branik Branik is literally a district of Prague and that's where the name comes from nice foam nice color maybe a little bit lighter than the Pilsner not really it seems fine very good smell like very good smell let's try it but you see the foam doesn't last like the foam is already kind of dying a little bit and i think that's also a thing let's see what oh my god i'm so trashy this is delicious what it's great Guys, I was not expecting this. I thought it was gonna be hideous. It's great, I love it. It's sweeter, it's sweeter even, it's more sweet even than the Budweiser. So it's the sweetest one so far. But it has no aftertaste, no bitterness to it. It's literally, it's more watery, that for sure. But it's very good in flavor. I was not expecting that. I thought it was gonna be hideous, honestly. I have to be honest. Wow. I'm just about to save myself a lot of money in beer. This is great. Okay, so so many people told me, one of them being C. Mikum in Instagram, that I was missing Radegast. The thing with Radegast is that I went to five different places and they didn't have it. So I guess I would have to have gone to the supermarket and buy it there warm. But since I bought the beers today, I don't think that was the smartest move. So I'm so sorry I'm not tasting that one. Hopefully I'm soon gonna do a second taste test of beers and I can taste that one there for you guys. The last beer we have to try is Gambrinus. I've seen a lot of people drink this in Prague and Gambrinus, this one was 18 Czech crowns. It's 4.3% alcohol. It was being brewed, it has been brewed since 1869 is a pale lager or pilsner it is brewed in the same brewery in the same brewery as the pilsner urkel beer so it's pretty much they have the same mother for saying that and the name gambrinus comes from a legend of a king in the flanders in the flanders area and supposedly that king was known for his mythical brewing skills so that's why the name and that's why you can see here the little logo of the probably the king gambrinus holding a beer so let's give this one a try loud and now i'm using my husband whiskey glasses for it because the other ones are are over Let's see, the color is amber, same like all the others, seems almost the same. The foam seems maybe a little bit more consistent so in the consistent side. Um, I like the foam to stay there. It's something I really, really enjoy with my beers. So let's give this a try. Wow, okay. Um, I find this one, it has less flavor than the other ones but I do find it like more refreshing, meaning I think I could drink more of these ones than of the other ones, if that makes sense. The smell is not like the best smell, but I mean, it smells good, but it doesn't smell like the best beer smell, 
but the flavor is very good. It's on point. It reminds me a lot to the Caribbean beers or the Venezuelan beers, to be honest. It reminds me to Polar a lot. A little bit more creamy and I like it. It's very good. I've never tried this one before and I am surprised by it since I already drank. I mean, I didn't drink anything, just like one finger of beer per beer, but I want to just kind of put the beer side to side to see the difference in color and of smell and I want to do that now. So let's go to it. I do have a horrible memory. And because of that, I think this part is gonna be funny. I have no idea what's anything and I don't remember which one was which one. Okay, so let's see. And I will have to do this in post-production because I have no clue. <laughs> Which one is which one right now? Um, but yeah, that's the real verdict. That those are the ones that I like. That's that's just how this is. First, second, third, fourth, five, six, seven. So we will see. Gosh, if I miss the favorite one, I'm gonna be an idiot. But it doesn't matter. Okay. So that was it guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a big thumbs up. I'm very excited to do this taste test, food, beer, liquor maybe, if you want liquor let me know down in the comments because I mean, I love Bejer, Bejerovka, yes, but honestly I know you guys have so many cool liquors so if you want to see me doing that let me know down in the comments and that was it, I'll see you next Tuesday with a new video. This weekend I'm going away with some friends to a cottage, so I might record that, but I don't, I'm not sure because I don't know how my feels will, how my friends, beer, you see, I cannot drink. We'll see how my friends feel about being recorded, otherwise I'm just gonna bring you something different and fun on Tuesday for you to watch. Remember to subscribe, to follow me on Instagram because I am such an Instagrammer. I'm always publishing everything I do here. And as well, remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, click that bell button so you can get notified every time I post a video. And that's it, bye. <laughs>